That's right, LV is dropping an NFT for $42,000 USD. This is not a joke. This news was broken on Vogue Business Magazine. In fact, if you want to be on a waiting list on June 8th, you're going to review a website where you can link your MetaMask or your crypto wallet and potentially be one of the people waitlisted to buy this NFT. The details are sparse, but here's what we know so far. We know the price, 39,000 euros. We don't know the supply. It's probably not going to be that many. It says here only several hundred trunks are available. So I believe there's going to be a mad dash for these from the crypto whales. This launch is part of a new project that they call VIA which is the Latin word for road, basically the road to new elite pathways towards new products and experiences that are inaccessible you know, to poor people like myself. If you didn't know, LV already has blockchain as part of the product offerings in terms of traceability. All you have to do is buy an LV engagement ring, which is surprisingly affordable at $18,500, and then you get a secure certificate of authenticity on the Aura blockchain. I don't know when this happened, but supposedly LV was the first to introduce the first ever blockchain fully digital certificate. LV did release some renderings of what the LV digital box may look like. So not only do you get the digital box, you actually get a physical LV trunk shipped to you. Cause you know, $42,000 for a digital box might be a little bit overboard, even if it has a stamp of LV on it. CEO of LVMH and richest person in the world, Bernard Arnold said that his objective is not to sell virtual sneakers at $10. Is he giving a dig at Nike here? But that's taken out of context because what he really is saying is that the metaverse and NFTs can have undoubtedly a positive impact if it has done well on the activity of brands. And then on the second part of it, he goes on to say, but it's not his objective to sell virtual sneakers at $10. Like I mentioned earlier, on June 8th, they're going to review a website where you can register to be on the wait list. Then on June 14th, if they like how much cryptocurrency you're holding in your wallet, they'll invite you to an invite only purchase event on June 16th. You'll get the digital trunk immediately, but later on, there's no set date yet. Holders will receive a made to order physical twin of their trunk. They're releasing these NFTs as soul bound NFTs which means that you cannot sell them or trade them on the NFT open marketplace. The only way they could do this is by holding your NFT hostage within a LVMH portal, their own wallet of sorts. This is to discourage flippers from coming in and buying it from true LVMH fans. The holders of this trunk will periodically buy bespoke keys. So they're going to airdrop access keys for additional products that are going to release down the road. Down the road isn't too far because they're launching another product mid June. Mid-June is when they're launching a the trunk. So I don't know what they're saying here. They're going to have another product mid-June. That key is going to be reviewed to those trunk holders who have purchased the corresponding key. We don't know what product that is yet. New products will also include a record of ownership and proof of authenticity like we saw over at the LV Diamonds with the Aura blockchain. So while holders cannot sell their original trunks, they can sell future items that they acquire within the ecosystem via the key. So they can flip the keys. The VP of Digital Innovation over at LVMH caused this Web 2.5 because you still have to register your email to be on the wait list. There's no anonymity here yet. He calls this the white glove service, true customer service for a Web 3 world. Vogue Business dropping some alpha here. It's worth noting that in the past year, LV has tapped NFT early adopter Pharrell Williams to be his new creative director. The previous creative director, rest in peace, was Virgil Abloh, who absolutely broke the mode. Hiring Pharrell is hinting to some that he might bring an enthusiastic, aka bullish sentiment to the brand. I see what you're doing here, Vogue Business. I see what you're doing here, LV. This article is really well written. It is true that the timing is really noteworthy right now because NFTs and the projects have slowed to a snail pace and a hype cycle has actually shifted, actually come and brought the attention over to the artificial intelligence realm, which means right now is the time for the builders. Men in the space are reframing this period as a reset, which is very true. It's not about speculation and getting rich quickly. It's to emphasize long-term community-driven value. And for LV, it's a new way of accessing products and experiences in opposition to tech for tech's sake, meaning basically everyone just getting in on NFTs because it was a hot thing to do. This latest launch is actually a super long journey. They said it took over a year in the making. I'm happy it's here. It's going to bring more people on board to Web3, which we all knew. Would you buy $42,000 LV NFT? The answer is if I had the money and it was in that class and stratosphere of the luxury world, heck yeah, I would. That's like nothing. You flex on me with your LV bag, I'll flex on you on my LV NFT trunk, smash it on your head. In any case, NFTs are here to stay. And if you're not super bullish on it, you are missing out. To find out what NFTs I'm buying and selling and chatting it up with the community every day, click on my link down below. Make sure you don't miss any market updates. Subscribe. I got three coming weekly. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.